are in line. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> at the Florida Horse Park. Yep. And today we're going to see some horses. Yeah, it is the Grand View Invitational at the Florida Horse Park in Marion County, Florida. Uh, so excited. There's a lot of draft horses here, uh, Percherons, Clydesdales. Uh, they're going to uh, be hooked up to carts. They're having women's carting events, men's carting events. Just so exciting to be here. And my knowledge of horses is so vast. You just stay tuned. You're going to hear me say, well, not much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I have a question for you. Yeah. What is a draft horse? Uh, I do not Is really it spelled D R A U G H T, like the draft. beer? Draft. D R A F T. Oh, draft F. horses. Yeah, okay. they're technically. Oh, look at that guy passing. Wow. Technically, uh, draft horses are working horses. They're huge. They're Percherons. They're Clydesdales. They, uh, they're work horses. Huh. So we'll see what happens. And it is February 4th, 2023. All right, let's go see the horses. Okay. The world spins fine. Okay, well, here we are. We're walking in and we are parked, ready to go. We don't really know what we're going to see. No, and that's so cool. Uh, opening ceremonies start at noon. There's going to be a Belgian ladies cart competition, Percheron team, Clydesdale unicorn, Belgian four horse hitch, Percheron four horse hitch, Clydesdale four horse hitch, Wow! and the men's all breed cart championship. This is so amazing. It's all like another language to me. Yeah. But all those trailers behind us are what, uh, they carry all the horses, the Percherons wow. and the Clydesdales, and they must have separate trailers then for all the cars. So is the Percheron the one that's bigger than the Clydesdale? Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. They're draft horses, working horses, pretty amazing. They're beautiful. And they say they're very gentle. All, all big creatures are gentle. <laughs> Seen Reacher? He's a very gentle man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's also going to be a junior cart for 16 years old and under competition, so that would be cool to see. All right. Well, we are. Yeah. We are gonna see some cool stuff today. I'm gonna learn a little bit. I might forget it by tomorrow, but I'll learn it today. <laughs> this is gonna be so amazing. I can't wait. All right, we are in here, and it is so crowded. There are so many people here. There is literally no place to sit. I know, I know. It's pretty amazing. So this is the arena uh -huh. where all the action is going to take place. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. We've got good standing seats. <laughs> we got, we're standing, yeah. We're going to have to stand and do this. And it starts real soon, right? Yeah, 12 o'clock, opening ceremony. All right. 11.57. All right. And now, we are going to be introducing to you our soloist for our event, Camille Weather. Uh, she's local. Visiting with her, I said, Camille, you must have a band or a following because you are so amazing. And she said, no, I sing at church, and, and that's my pride and joy. But she truly has the voice of an angel. We're going to be starting today and saluting our neighbors to the north, our judge, our exhibitors, and all of you joining us from Canada. We're going to salute the Canadian flag. And I promise you, I made the trip. We have a flag. And Fred, if you'd step forward with that Canadian flag, we are going to ask our soloist, Camille Weather, to present the anthem of the great country of Canada. You would please stand. <laughs> oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriots love. Wow. Now that's 
that's a good point. A beautiful job, as always. And now, as you look up into the rafters and you see the red, white, and blue, each show we dedicated to those who are fighting for our freedom and our freedoms, whether you are a hero of fighting in the past or you have family relatives fighting for us now, we truly say thank you and give you our heartfelt thanks that you are the reason that we are the land of the free and the home of the brave. So if you look to that flag, we are now going to ask Camille if she would present our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the sun's early light? What so proudly we lived at the twilight's last meeting, whose broad stripes and bright hearts through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Streaming and the rockets red the bombs were bursting in air. They proved through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star?
all of our seats filled in here. People are working and, and uh, mingling back to the barn, so they just come up and told us that we need to kind of stay in here and let those exhibitors have room to get those horses hooked because it's kind of putting a little delay on things. But in just a moment, the horses are going to start moving their way in. And as I said, it's the Clydesdale team. And then we're going to move into the unicorn hitch. Clydesdales, Tim and Mary Myers, joining us from Fremont, Ohio, making their way in first. That is Miss Mary doing the driving. One of the nicest groups of people that you'll ever have an opportunity to meet. We appreciate them making the trip again. Not to harp on that cold weather, but it's much nicer to be showcasing horses down here in the Sunshine State. Grimby Clydesdales making their way in next to Mr. Tim this is the class on the rail at the top, I think it is.
This is the unicorn class.
Hunger Barn horses joining us. Congratulations. In second place, the award is going to go to ANC Belgians. Angela, the owner, Mr. Greg Rowe doing the driving, making the trip from Michigan. And this is the driving the mayors. Belgian mayors are for second place award. the awards. Michelle, our official photographer, capturing our pictures here in the arena and the candidates on the outside, making our show available to so many people on Facebook land. And ladies and gentlemen, your winning entry in the Belgian uniform, our congratulations going out to Johnson's Belgian. Gail and her crew joining us from Unity, Saskatchewan, Canada, where it's much, much colder there. And we will be featuring our six and eight more stitches. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome in to the arena our six more stitches. This is the first entry Zubrod Pertrens under the lines of Miss Kinsis and Zubrod. Joining us from Yukon, Oklahoma. This young lady, just 15 years old, handles these horses like it's hardly anything. We're so proud of her watching her grinding development over the years. She is following into the arena. Another person on the entry, we're going to see at this time the entry of Hunting Creek Farms. Mr. Jason Hunter, the owner, Chip Lawrence doing the driving. They are representing the state of North Carolina. One of four will be gracing us for the first division. As I said, a total of five heats. And then our drivers will be coming back. Some of them will be coming back for a second look by our judge. And then we'll have everybody back in for the final placing. So as of now, waiting for one more entry. They're making their way through. And let's welcome from Yukon, Oklahoma, the entry of Express Range. Mr. Josh Mitchell, the driver on the line that we're conducting. This is your first division drivers on the rail at the track training. Pick yourself out a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Let them know as they pass by. Our perch runs in heat number one. Now under the judge's eye.
those horses make that cut into the center, and then they'll stand quietly, waiting to be reviewed by our judge. Thank you. 
on the rail at the truck driver.
And then there were two. These two have competed head to head against each other and are always the top of their game. Today the reserve award, the red ribbon, is going to go to Blue Ribbon Days. Mr. Dean Woodbury on the line. This hitch is a combined hitch owned by Albert and Karen Cleavy, Jim and Peg Day, and Mr. Stephen Dittmar. Managed by the Woodbury family of Indiana, they truly are a proud favorite wherever they go. Our congratulations to your reserve champions today, Blue Ribbon Day. And on behalf of your staff, we'd like to thank our friends, Mr. Bush and Tom, our friends, our friends, and all of those friends that have worked outside to get a person in and out. We're now ready to crown your champion in today's All Break Six Horses Championship. Congratulations going out to Jackson Fork Ranch with Mr. Ross Hansberger. He's never been on this wagon before, never drove these horses before, but we're going to show you the caliber of judges we have here. Mr. Justin Shaw, our driver, taking your champions, the Jackson Park Ranch Perkins, all the time. Some show, all those horses. Wow, fabulous. Oh, man, man yeah. couldn't imagine how great that was. I'm be. glad I drive a car. <laughs> but what was great, what was the icing on the cake, were the youth at the end. Oh, yeah. The competitions Kids under 18 yeah, yeah, yeah. drivers, and they were pretty amazing. You know, the horses themselves. I mean, they're just so beautiful. And, mm -hmm. I don't know, just, they're just magnificent animals, and the, the fact that they they work for us humans. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> and they're so regal looking and they just They do, yeah. Yeah, which is and, pretty amazing. And they were playing music in this show. I don't I hope I didn't mm -hmm. get uh, dinged by copyright rules, <laughs> but um I think it was from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like very powerful just duh, 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 duh. Oh, it was great music that they chose to yeah. use. Yeah. yeah. As they came, all came marching out and everything, I mean, gosh, and all the horses were high stepping it and just beautiful. They did a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. It, each one of those teams put so much work into everything, into the carriages and into the horse care mm -hmm. and into getting here. I mean, some of them drove a long way. Oh yeah, Canada. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> but when we were outside, we could smell the leather. 
I mean, gosh, that the horses, you know, were wrapped up in for their reins and halters and everything. It was just pretty amazing. I've never smelled the leather before at a horse show while they were on the horses. It's, it's it interesting. So great. I it's just interesting, love that. isn't it? You drape it was great. horses with dead cows. <laughs> It's kind of an interesting thought right there. It is. It, it's, <laughs> I think that's a great thought. Way of the world. Wow. <laughs> All right, kids. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, that yeah. was the first time I've ever been to something like that. Me too. Pretty amazing. All right. Well, it's right in our own backyard. I don't think we drove 15 minutes to get here. So. No? Mm -mm, that's great. The Florida Horse Park. <laughs> and, and the event was called the Grandview Invitational. Yes. <laughs> and it great. was not easy getting this program. No. We no, it wasn't. I had to walk until I couldn't walk anymore. <laughs> I had to hunt it down. <laughs> you, got, you got some hair going on right there. I do. Oh, yeah. What's well, up? Got that wild windy. woman look. <laughs> still windy outside. All right. Take care. Be good. Don't forget to write. Remember, writing's very important. And the world spins fine on a horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we saw a horse the other day, uh -huh. Buddy, up close and personal. Buddy the Clydesdale. Now, that yeah. was a beautiful day, yeah, too. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, day. this was obviously competitive. All right. Yeah. Take care. Be good. Let's say we said that already. Yeah, we uh, the, the world spins fine. On her own. Baby. The world spins.